In the last few weeks, I've been using a new powerful tool for AI automations called NADM. If you have heard of automation platforms like Make or Zapier, this is like those but on steroids. In this video series, I'm going to show you the automations I've built and that I'm using every single day for my business and for my personal life. So if you don't want to miss any future videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I will show you what helps me to manage my invoices effortlessly. All I need to do is drop a file into a specific Google Drive folder and N10 automatically analyzes it, extracts all of the relevant information and updates my expense spreadsheet for me. With a few tweaks, you can apply that to any PDF that you want to extract information from. Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Donna and I've been deep into the world of AI for over three years. In that time, I've helped businesses streamline their processes with automation and AI solutions including things like voice agents and custom workflows. If you're interested in exploring how AI can work for your business, you can book a free discovery call using the link in the description. Before we dive into building this automation, I want to mention that I've been recently starting a school community. It's completely free to join and it's the perfect place to ask questions, connect and participate in live Q&A sessions. The link is also in the description. All right. Let's dive into NATN and build this automation. Before creating any automation, what you need to do is you need to create an NATN account. And there are two different ways to run NATN. The first one, which is the simplest one, is to simply sign up through the website and create your workspace. After that, you will simply have a workspace like this, and then you will be able to open it directly. The only problem of this is that it is not free. So here, as you can see, you have to choose your plan and you have to choose between different plans. And you have two plans, the starter, which is 24 euros a month and the pro, which is 60 euros a month. And you have the right to run certain amount of automations and workflow execution, as they call. So this is like running the entire workflow from A to Z instead of make. That is, for example, counting how many modules you have in your workflow. In this case, it's just running the workflow from zero to the end. So here you have 2,500 workflow execution and five active workflow, while for the pro you have 10,000 workflow execution and 15 active working flow. But you can also have it for free. And this is how you can do it. So you need to install something called Docker and run it locally. So in this case, you can go directly to the um, docker.com and click on Docker desktop for Mac with Apple Silicon, for example. And here you will download Docker and then you will be able to install it. And the second step is to open a terminal and type the following commands right here. So docker volume create edit and data and then this super long um, command right here. And these two will create and launch edit and directly on your laptop. Then you will be able to go directly on localhost double dot 5678 and you will be able to see all of the different workflow that you have. This is completely free and there is no limits and you can have it run locally. And just a little precision on that while I was editing. Running it locally is ideal for all the manual trigger workflow. In this case, today we are running one that is listening to Google Drive folder changes as a trigger. This means you will need to let your computer run 24 seven for it to work. In this example, you can either use the cloud version or deploy the Docker instance on an AWS or Google Cloud server. If you need more info on that, feel free to ask in the school community. So now let's create our first automation. The first automation I wanted to show you is one that takes my invoices that I directly upload into this folder and automatically process it and add it into a spreadsheet that I have right here. So in this case, I've already run it twice, but like I have these two expenses that are exactly the same. And here I can see the invoice. So the way this is done is that there are like multiple stages right here on this workflow. The first part of the automation is a Google Drive trigger. So here it will check my Google Drive account and it will check every minute on a specific folder and check if there is any changes in there. So here I added the ID of the folder and here, for example, it takes the latest file that has been updated inside that folder. The next step is that it will download the file. So here you, you take the URL of that file and you directly download it. So if I click here on download, I will be able to see that file. The step after that is to upload it to a tool called LlamaParse. LlamaParse allows you to do OCR on files and automatically grab all of the different information. 
This is really useful because you don't always have a PDF with text data inside. Sometimes you have just a picture and you want to be able to extract all of the different information that you need. In order to add this module here, you will need to create an account on Llama Cloud, generate an API key and directly add it into the credential. Once you connect it, you can directly add this post request right here to this specific URL and to upload a file and then it will automatically process it and get all of the different data from it. And the way it works here is like we're gonna loop over it to check the processing status. And until the status is pending, we are continuing in that loop, waiting for one second every time, until it is becoming a success, when then we go to the get past invoice data. And what we are doing here is we are getting all of the different information from that file. So as you can see here, we have all of the different information such as the order number, the items that I order, the price, and all of these different information. Once we have our information, we can directly use an LLM chain where we will link it with OpenAI to get and extract all of the different information and output it as a JSON format. So here you say, given the following invoice, extract the following information as listed below. The invoice date as per format, day, day, and month, and year. The expense name, what the expense is about, you will keep this concise if it, and if it contains multiple items, you will find a way to generalize the title. Then the expense category the, and the total price. Now, as you can see here, I have all of the different information, but I want this information to not be just a string, but I want it to be like in a JSON format so that I can grab these elements and directly add them inside um, Google Spreadsheet. So the next step right here is exactly about that. Here I say that I want a type of object and I want a string for the invoice date, I want a string for the name, I want the expense category to be a string as well and I want the total price. And this is what it's generating. So here you can see that it perfectly generates a JSON file with all of the different information that I need. And on the next step I can directly click here and here I can select which Google Sheet I want to use. So in this case, I want to use the expense one. I want to use the first sheet. And here I can say, and I just click here on schema and I can just drag and drop the different things that I need in my Google Sheet. And then it will directly automatically add the information like this. As this step here is just mapping the different column of the spreadsheet to the different elements that I have generated before. As you can see, N10 is incredibly powerful. Now I can simply snap a picture of an invoice, drop it into my Google Drive folder, and it will automatically update my spreadsheet. I could even take it a step further by adding optimizations, like sorting invoices into specific folders by month or by quarter. In the next video, we'll dive into how to automatically generate and repurpose content. I will show you how to take a YouTube video ID and based on the transcript, create a LinkedIn article and a series of tweets. If you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.